Hi guys, it's your girl Kyo Chemist, and if you can see what I'm sitting under, then you know that this is finally my update on my search for a new steamer. So let's get started. First of all, let us have a few moments of silence for my very first steamer. I had it for about a year, I guess and a half, almost a year, about a year and a half. Um, at the time, I paid $109 for it at lclbeauty.com, um, and it served me well. But one day, I plugged it in, as you all know, and it just would steam no more. Uh, the thing about this model, I think it is a great model, a less expensive model, if you are interested in trying a steamer. You don't want to invest a lot of money in it. and uh, it has that aspect of being able to use tap water versus distilled water. But I do think at the end of the day, that was the demise. The demise of my steamer was the fact that it did use tap water. As I look at the coil, yeah, I still have water sitting in there, which is another reason why I think my steamer didn't last so long. I will not be doing that in the future. But as you look at the coil, um, you can see that it looks like it's got, like, I don't know, it's not rusted, but there's definitely something going on on the outside of the metal, uh, which is the contact surface for which um, the steamer should be used to steam. I wonder if I would have cleaned that. I never thought to clean it. I don't know. Maybe I'll clean it before I throw it out and see if it'll work again. Wouldn't that be something? But um, this was, like I said, pretty good. It's mostly uh, plastic. Um, the hood very you know hard plastic this casing hard plastic and even the stand and the base of the stand which let's see if you can see that hard plastic um like i said it served me well it has one um setting on it which is just on and a timer and the timer does make noise as it ticks down it's not too bad you get used to it but yeah so that was steamer number one. But like I said, it is RIP. So in my search to find a new steamer, I went on several websites, including the LCL Beauty, and I saw that they had a better model and the same model. The same model that you just saw is now, I think, about 80 eight or eighty nine dollars on their website they have some reduced pricing right now I don't know if they're just trying to move those units um, but their other they have another model that is also 139 that used to be like 170 something um, and there are coupon codes out there for LCL Beauty um, I don't think you can use the coupon code on the one that's marked down to 80 but you can use the coupon code on the other one but I looked on there and I was like maybe I need to try another company you know I did like the fact that there was a year warranty uh, and the customer service was excellent um, and basically they followed their policy they had a one-year policy and it died after the year and there was really nothing they could do for me um, they thought you know but I will say they tried to work with me they thought if it needed like maybe a new component a couple times my stand broke the stand that it was on messed up and they sent those things right out to me and they were even willing to send me like a component like that after the fact if that was just the case but of course in this case it was the whole unit was dead and they do have repair service available also but the cost of the repair as I mentioned before would have been more so I started looking around on other sites and um, stumbled across I'm not going to tell you what site there are some of you I inboxed links to uh, other steamers too, so you already know. I'm not going to tell you what site, but when you see this steamer, you will recognize it if you ever see it online. So, went to another site. Actually, I'll tell you where the site, but I won't tell you the actual storefront. So, I got on Amazon and I saw this model here. And the cool thing that I liked about it, or so I thought, was that it had an infrared light inside the dome an infrared lighting is supposed to be good for stimulation and, and and growth and hair growing treatments and all kind of stuff I read up about it so it has an infrared light and um, as you can see it is bright yellow and it looks like a little face on the back to me with the two it had the dual um, 
switches which I later found out the dual switches were not for level of steam the dual switches one was for um, the, the light and one was for the steamer and then it has a timer um, this is it and then it has this one metal pipe and then white kind of metal and then a plastic base so I got this I ordered it there was free shipping the price was about sixty nine dollars seventy dollars and the cool thing was I had an Amazon gift card so I was very excited like yeah maybe I found my replacement and it was you know I purchased it with a gift card so I get the steamer it comes in a box it comes in a box and you have to basically put the stand together and then sit this part on top I open the box there are no instructions on how to put it together and although I am pretty clever and uh, know my way around a toolbox I still thought I needed some instructions they were not even operating instructions and as you can see if you can see there's really nothing labeling like which one of these is for the light which one is for the steamer uh, nothing um, also there's a reservoir that's supposed to sit in here it's sitting somewhere else that's where the water goes in so I contact the company takes them a couple days to get back to me via the Amazon email um, uh, you know way that they, you're able to email companies through Amazon uh, I think eventually what I had to do was call them because they never got back to me and when I called them I was told oh we we have to email you the instructions we don't have you know a manual or anything to send you we will email you the instructions now when she said email me I thought it was going to be like an emailed standard thing no she literally typed out the instructions in an email and emailed it to me so I followed the instructions I set the thing up um, so I wanted to see before I put water in this because it is an electrical appliance and let me note this when I got it out the box it was that was kind of a weird smell but I thought it was probably just the plastic that it was packaged in um, but let me move forward so I set it up and I decided to figure out try to plug it in to figure out which switch is the light switch so I just hit them both on because I figured the light should come on right away and then I'll know be able to figure out which one is which put them on both switches and I mean immediately as soon as I hit the switch no light came on however smoke <laughs> smoke came out from under here not steam because there was no water in there it was smoke so I immediately yanked my plug out from the wall I smell like an electrical smell and I realized that that electrical smell is probably what I was smelling when I was unwrapping this lovely item out of the box I immediately contact the company because I am very upset because I've waited for the steamer um, was very excited about getting back to you guys I call the company very upset um, they proceed to tell me that uh, the guy that I talked to tells me that I need to troubleshoot first he tries to sort of throw it on me like you didn't have the water reservoir in and that's probably why it overheated and I'm like okay I plugged it literally into the wall and it's, it started smoking like I could see if it sat for a while with no water in it and it started smoking but it I plugged it in the wall I said then on top of that nothing came on no light nothing so we go back and forth he asked me to please try to put the water in the water reservoir in and see if it'll work so you know I just at this point I'm very frustrated but I come home Fill the water reservoir. This one requires distilled water. Put distilled water in the reservoir. Clicked it on, and thank God, I say thank God, nothing happened. It didn't come on. The light didn't come on. It didn't smoke. So I'm assuming it had already, you know, died. I was kind of under the impression that maybe this unit had already been tested or something or something done to it. Because like I said, when I got it in the box, it was smelling funny. Needless to say, though, the company after I reported back to them refunded my money so I have to discard of this steamer um, so after that experience with Amazon and and looking on, on other companies and, and their available you know what they had available as far as steamers and their warranties because this one I'm sorry the warranty for this one was only 60 days um, after much debate 
I finally decided to go back with LCL Beauty um, because their customer service had been great. Um, as far as I was concerned, the previous steamer that I had, <clears throat> although it did die, it worked very well. And anytime I needed to contact them, I could always reach someone by phone or by email. They followed up very well. Um, and again, they have free shipping. It took about a week, I think, because they're in wa the state of Washington. But what I did is instead of getting the same model that I already had, I did get the upgraded model, which is here. This one was, I think, 139 on the website. And then I Googled, there are two coupon codes I Googled. One, I think, is still the Exotic Mommies coupon code. It's $10 off. Or there is one, I think, on All Natural. It's a blog I saw. Either one will give you $10 off. So for $129, free shipping, this is my new steamer. Um, immediately when I received it and I opened the box, um, as expected, there were instructions on how to construct the stand inside the box. The only issue I have with this is that there is a part of the this part right here of the stand number two while it is pictured clearly and it makes sense that it should go there in the written instructions they list by number every part as they're talking about it but they don't mention number two they don't put the number two in so you would have to know that number two is I think the draw tube or something but that's pretty intuitive other than that I was happy to have instructions uh, also inside the box was this it says looking for a user manual so apparently what they do is they don't print manuals to just put in the box but you can email them and get the copy of your manual um, so this is in an attempt for them to go a little more green or they're a green company so they don't print um, pre-packaged user manuals with any of their merchandise which I thought was cool even better though the representative that I had spoken with a while back for something else um, so my email address was on their website she actually mailed me the guide before my steamer arrived like a few days before I just received a random email from them <clears throat> excuse me with this linked inside so I thought that was great and it's really good it shows the model it talks about the company uh, it tells you about steamers and, and their steam steamers and what steam treatments are good for. It also has important usage guidelines for your steamer. So it tells you what not to do and what to do. Uh, it tells you to only use distilled water, never place oils or lotion in the receptacle. Um, make sure you don't fall asleep because there is the tube back here where the steam comes out and you could burn yourself. And uh, control how to control the steam using um, this part of the hood as well as the two dual switches and then there is also a section on how to properly operate the steamer and it talks about setting clients under it because it's, it's more of a professional model um, and it also what I really like is it has a care and maintenance section where it tells you what you should do after each treatment and a bi-monthly deep cleaning with vinegar um, to keep the unit, the inner workings clean um, and operating properly. So I really like that. It has all their contact information on it. So at the end of the day, I ended up going back with this company. Uh, let me let you take a look at this model. So it has the same kind of plasticky dome. Um, this is the actual part, you know, that produces the steam. Uh, excuse the wine bottles in the background but yeah this is the um, reservoir where the water is held distilled water this is the tank um, another thing I love is that it was it was a uh, if there was a qualified certificate number provided it was made in China but it shows that it was inspected you know and actually looked at and not just made and sent out the other unit that I had from Amazon had one of these things that was not properly filled out. No, no, and I'll show you just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll move this thing over here. 
to show you that. This video is going to be so long. Um, right here, see it has the thing, no information filled in. Just stuck on there, which is definitely not good. <laughs> um, this has, you know, more information on the side here, cautioning you um, about, you know, cleaning it regularly, letting the uh, wastewater drain, not to mix uh, chemicals, all kinds of stuff. Very good. So this is the actual part that you operate. This has the timer and these are the two switches for the steam. One for a lower level of steam. It's just like a really pleasant, not even as probably intense as being in a sauna very light steam you just kinda want a nice little relaxing moment this one will give you the more pushing on the second switch will give you more intense steam so I do like the fact that I have a little more control over the level of steam that I want um, and the timer goes up to 60 whereas my old one went up to 30 and the other one I bought it went up to 60 but I don't even know if it would have I don't know what I, anywho um, moving on the stand, this is the handle. The stand is all metal, including the uh, the bottom feet. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this in here. So yeah, all metal. And what I really like is this um, the adjustable height. It has a same spring action of the other ones, but it has this knob to control it versus trying to push down and screw right here. I just unscrew this to the side. Can you see me doing that? And then I can adjust it tall or short if I'm sitting down in a chair low. So that is my update on the steamer situation. I will come back and um, you know tell you I, I did you know slightly tested this morning but as you can see my hair is in a braid out so I didn't want to steam the braid out out so I will be you know coming um, back to give you maybe a more in-depth review of my steamer my new steamer but thanks so much for everyone who's been patient um, I will put the link to LCL Beauty if you are interested in checking them out um, again no guarantees it is an appliance I'm not being paid by the company to um, share this information with you. Um, if you watch my other video and I talked about the importance of tap water, I will say I have definitely changed my um, viewpoint on that. I think distilled is the way to go. It's worth a little extra effort to buy the distilled water, not filter out your tap because that's still not distilled water. It needs to be actual distilled water from a distillery and you can get a jug at the store for like a dollar or something like that. So. I hope this was helpful. Again, I apologize for the delay, but as you can see, I went through quite a bit to get from there, <laughs> the old steamer, to what I think will be my new steamer that will make me very happy for some time to come. So, all right, guys. Bye.